All right, guys, here we go. I'm the Silvered Grunion, and thank you for being here as we play DuckTales 2. And I'm excited. I'm going to just jump right in. No need for a big intro. I'm not famous, and everyone knows Nintendo. So uh, let's just jump right in and start kicking some butt in DuckTales 2. I'm ready. I've been waiting to play this all day. You know, I just discovered this uh, not long ago. The original was one of one of the best games I've ever played. And I've had this on the Disney Afternoon Collection for, for quite some time. But I never really played it. I guess I figured it would never be quite as good as the original. But uh, lo and behold, I probably should have played this a lot sooner. This is a lot of fun. And let's see if we can uh, get through this and have a good ending. Alright, let's see. This jump swing is a little tricky. There we go. And there's our first piece of the map. Alright. Whoa, what's going on? Uh, the first time this happened, I was like, is it a trap? No. It's just, I love this though, watch this. Look at this warning. He warns me that I could get trapped. Yeah, thanks. I just did. Would have been useful information just a little bit earlier, but thanks, Bubba. I'm making myself look really cool right now. Um, well, as cool as I get. But I'm not overly great at this game. I don't have the the polish here that I have with the original. Now, the original, I'm, I, if, I'm pretty surgical. Or I can be. Uh, this one is still new to me. And that's always kind of like I like right here. You get to upgrade your cane. These are things that were not in the original. I always kind of assumed that DuckTales 2 was just going to feel like a ROM hack of the original. And it kind of does. But it does it in a great way. And I should have played this sooner. I should have bought this uh, when it came out. And I'd, well, I'd, I'd be rich. Because it's a very expensive cart uh, to purchase these days. But thank God for the Disney Afternoon Collection that made this game readily available to uh, people like me who have no money. If I had to live off my good looks, I would go broke. Clearly. Right here, slow and steady wins the race. You can't barrel through here because those birds or whatever they are will knock you on your fluffy little keister. Yeah, we're doing good. Right. But yeah, the premise is pretty much the same. No, oh, no, oh, no! Uh. <laughs> oh, man. All right, it's not too bad. I never said it was going to be a, a perfect run. But we're going to try not to uh, embarrass ourselves. I mean, at least we did it early, right? You gotta, if you're going to be embarrass yourself, do it early. So they forget by the end of the, the video. Hmm. Yeah, this game can get tricky. But yeah, as I was saying before I uh, made a jerk out of myself... Um, the premise here is pretty much the same as the original. You gotta get the treasures. There's five, I believe, five different levels uh, based on different countries or uh, set pieces, so to speak. And you have a pogo stick, a pogo jump, and it's all about getting that bling bling. And of course, boss fights. Wouldn't be DuckTales or a Capcom game without boss fights. 
and I did not look up the names of any of the bosses because I'm very well prepared. Uh, so we're going to call this one Mr. Fire. You may not believe it, but I just came up with that on the fly. Mr. Fire. Yo. Not too hard. Uh, I would say the boss fights are are a little easier in this one than they were in the original. The original would stump me, even now, from, from time to time, if I go a while uh, without playing it. All right, here's the store. We want to get this. This is going to give us an extra hit point, which is going to come in handy. And also, what that's going to do is next time we go in there, we'll be able to purchase uh, one of the map pieces, which again, we need uh, for the good ending of the game. There's actually two, I should say, there's actually two endings. And I don't know if we're going to get the best one or not. We're going to find out. But it's all dependent on getting that, those treasure map pieces, or at least getting a, getting all of them. But there's no real goal here. We're just having fun. I just wanted to come home and fire up the Nintendo. And you know what? I missed you guys. I do. I like talking to you guys. So uh, keep the comments coming. And thanks a lot for being here and keeping me company as we play DuckTales on Nintendo. If you're just joining us, I am the Silver Grunion. And no, I am not a professional. It was sarcasm. I'm terrible. This is, nobody would confuse me with a professional. Yo. I remember coming home uh, as a kid. Like, I'd come home from school, and I would always... I, it was like one of the first games I'd ever fire up was DuckTales. Because it was really a game, even in the... I guess back then, the 90s... Uh, that I could beat. It was one of the few games that I was actually able to beat on my own. In fact, it might be the first game that I was able to beat without any help or any cheats or any... or even looking things up. I think really back then it was just a matter of uh, playing through. I got it for, I believe, Christmas of 1989. So, uh, that's pretty cool. We're, we're celebrating... Almost 30 years that I've been playing this series, and it's great to finally discover part two. There's a hidden wall. There's a lot of those here, and they're, they're, I don't want to say they're uh, required, but you have to really find quite a few of them if you want to get the good ending. And again, I don't know if we will, but I also think we'll play this probably more than once. This is one we'll come back to. I'm always down for some Capcom. You know what I liked about this? Uh, what I liked about this game and what I liked about the original is, you know, I always enjoyed Mega Man. And if I had a friend of mine that would, a neighbor, that could just run right through Mega Man like nothing. I wasn't so, uh, so skilled. So I'd play Mega Man and I would not be able to get past the single robot master. But I keep playing because it's fun. But DuckTales was really Mega Man for those of us who were, weren't quite good enough to play Mega Man. Uh, Capcom, and my hat's off to you. Great, great games that have defined a childhood. I'm sure more than one. Here, get this guy here. I think this guy is from the DuckTales movie. I was at one time a DuckTales connoisseur. This is a great cartoon. And the movie, I think, was a little bit past my time, but I remember seeing, like, the trailers. And I'm sure at some point I saw it on either TV or maybe even rented it. Who knows? But I think this was the villain of that movie, which would have been around the time that this game came out. I believe 1993. Yeah, by then I'd moved on uh, from cartoons. But not from video games.
Right, there we go. Now we can get the treasure map. That's another piece right there. That's that's a beautiful thing. Just jump over the nephews. I don't care what they have to say. I'm sure it's important, but I don't care. I just want to play. By the way, have you ever, have you guys ever played, let me know in the comments, have you guys ever played the remake of DuckTales, the original game? Came out in 2013 for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. And I believe also a very butchered, unplayable version was released on Steam, and I mean really unplayable. I, I think you couldn't even get past the final boss. And I'm not talking about The Rock. The real final boss. Um, but yeah, uh, that I was so excited to play. That, there again, that was a game I missed out on, and I only recently, I think like last year, I picked it up, and I was excited. I'm like, okay, cool. I don't expect it to be as good as the original, but... Maybe, you know, be something worth playing. I've never seen a game make me so angry in such a little time by doing nothing. I mean, it, it, it's not a bad game, but it, the design is... It's baffling. Like, there's a cutscene, and, I, and I, I use cutscene very loosely. There's dialogue that is unskippable, unless you go through the pause menu. Uh, there's dialogue every three steps. It's one of those games that just won't leave you alone. Like, let me play. Let me play the game. I mean, I don't want to sit there and, and read and listen to almost ten minutes of, of dialogue. If I want to watch the cartoon, I'll watch the cartoon. You play DuckTales on Cap you know, Capcom's DuckTales on Nintendo to have fun. And the remakes were not that. They looked great, and they had the voice cast of the original cartoon. What a missed opportunity. So let me know in the comments if you've played that. I couldn't get through it. I, I really couldn't. Maybe one day we'll play it here. Because I can vent... Oh, what did I do? Did I, did I mess up? That's all right. We'll go up. We'll go down. No harm, no foul. There. Whew, that'd have been close. That would have been bad. Or a duck, the last thing we want to do is go in the water. There's something very addictive about the... about the controls. I don't know what it is, I don't know, it's just... It's fun. It's a fun game, it really is. This and its predecessor are just two of the most fun video games I can think of. It's it's a great time, and I strongly recommend uh, picking up the Disney Afternoon Collection and trying them out for yourselves. If you're on the fence, give it a try. Oh, this, that's right. I forgot what I had to do. Alright, this guy, yes. You knock him down. Boom! Right there. You gotta throw those uh, bricks at him, but they don't always come down. Otherwise, he's impervious to pain. Come on, dude. Really? What am, what, am I, what am I not doing here? Come on. There we go. We'll save that one for next... Oh, ah, come on. Ah, I didn't mean to break that brick. All right, now they're coming. Ooh. 
Valkyrie. This one... Oh, come on. There we go. That should do it right there. see here should we know no. i'm not going to worry about buying anything there i don't really we're playing on easy we don't need a lot of continues we don't need a lot of uh stuff here uh good job of the level design here too I think this game complements DuckTales, the original game, uh, very well. I mean, really together, it almost feels like one complete game. And that's cool. That's that's the mark of a good sequel. They added things, but they didn't make it feel so different uh, that you'd wonder if it's the same game. It's It really is. It feels like an extension. I think I said it earlier. A ROM hack of the original. It's really, it's it's too bad. Uh, it's very, it's actually really too bad. We didn't get a proper sequel on the 16-bit consoles. I mean, the, this game came out in 93. So by then, I mean, Super Nintendo was out. Sega Genesis was out. And to my knowledge, Sega never got a DuckTales game. That'd have been great. Give me some Scrooge McDuck with Sonic. A little bit of blast processing with my Disney, thank you. Yeah, that would have been cool. I would like to have seen what the Super Nintendo, especially with the, the sound chip, uh, would have done with this franchise. It would have been, I think the music would have been stellar. Just phenomenal. I mean, the graphics are already good. There's a trick here. Yep, there we go. That always reminds me of that level in Mario 2. You know the one. And if you don't, well, pick up a history book, kids. Oh! Oh, can I not can I not do that? Oh, that was weird. I thought for sure that I could go underneath. Huh. Live and learn. We'll just go this way. Uh, nope, we will not. This is where we came from. All right, we're lost. Great, we're lost in Egypt. Just what I didn't want to happen. There we go. All right, this time... I don't know what I did wrong. I, oh, that, oh! you have to hit the bottom one uh, first. And I did not. That's why we, we died before. Okay. Makes sense. I mean, really, what's great about this game, it's the mark of a, of a good game, is when you lose, it's, it's because of you. Like, you can really never say, oh, the controls didn't work. Uh, no, they, they do. They're very precise, and if you screw up, it's it's on you. Or me. More specifically, me. It's always my fault. Alright, a little extra treasure here. Hey, there we go. Oh! And now we're back here. No, I do not want to go back to the main screen. Don't push the wrong button. Thank you. All right, so where do we go? We, we've looped around twice here. Why can't I get up there? Come on. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta pull this out of the way. Nope. 
can't get that, can I? No. All right. I'm very confused. I'm confounded and bewildered. And now we're back here again. Ooh, don't. All right. Did we miss a spot? Am I am I not? All right. Let's go back again and uh, see if we can find where we 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 went wrong. We took a wrong twine in Albuquerque. Shout out if you get that reference. And yes, I know that's from from another podcast. I just. It's an expression. I didn't mean to rip off any Canadians. Please don't sue. Thank you. There we go. This, we didn't go through here. Okay. I think this will lead to the boss. I've only played this a couple times, so... I don't know it like the back of my head. Oh, this boss... He is not hard, but he's just annoying... It takes patience to get him. You can you can do it without getting hit. But I am not a patient man. So there we go. We just went all ultimate warrior. Just threw ourselves at him and took him down. All right. Yeah, sure. Let's spend some of that money that we've been collecting. Why not? I don't think the amount of money uh, plays into a, into the, the end of the game. Um, unlike last time, you had to have a certain amount uh, to get the good ending. I don't think that's the case here. I think more it's the, it's, the, it's the map pieces that are required. And as long as we have those, we'll be okay. Right. There we go. Pull the lever. I do like uh, what they did there, uh, allowing you to use the cane to solve uh, various puzzles in the game. And I think they could have done even more, and again, that's why it's sad uh, that they never did a sequel on the 16-bit hardware. I think they really could have really gone crazy with it, made the game uh, not open world, but they could have certainly doubled the size. And nobody would have complained, because anything Capcom does is okay with me. And I'm sure with you. Nope. I'm always afraid I'm going to hit the wrong button, and then he's going to be like, Yeah, hey, Mr. McD, let's go back. Oh. you got to be careful not to get hit here, because these things will knock you for a loop. But usually, if you stop, they'll they'll miss you. I learned that from a, from another reviewer, uh, Aqua Lung Reviews. Somebody I was watching, I've been watching for about uh, fifteen years now. Uh, did a great review of this game and a walkthrough. So get a chance, uh, check it out. He's way funnier than me. Probably smarter and better at games. But you come here because I'm good looking. Or you clicked on my video by accident and you're too lazy too lazy to leave. Either way, thanks for being here, guys. I am the Silver Grunion, and this is DuckTales 2. And I'm glad you're here with me as we now get the final upgrade to 
the cane. I know everybody says that is a tricky jump. I've never, I've never had trouble with it. I, it's, uh, you play enough Nintendo games, you kind of get used to that, that platforming. So, that's fine. Let's see, do we go here, or do we go down? It looks like we go down. I'm getting better at that, too. Uh, it took a while. But now I'm getting pretty good at the, uh, the old jump and swing. Uh, if you know what I mean. Alright, this guy is not... Well, they're, this guy's not hard, but the problem is you keep getting caught on these hooks. You just I don't think he has an attack. Let's see. I really don't think he has an attack whatsoever. He just basically just... An awkward jump. No, dude just jumps around. Jump around. Jump around. It was the 90s. Alright, and I think that's the final piece of the treasure. I think now we go to the final level of the game. sinister stuff going on here in Duckburg. Alright, final stage looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Uh, just like the first game, you kind of go into another level that you've already been to, but this time it's real simple. Uh, you just go over here, the other way is blocked entirely, and now we're at the final boss of the game. And I like what they did here. Wait till you see this boss. Uh, hopefully he doesn't kick my butt. But... <laughs> it's the D-1000. Or maybe the D-3000. It's a ripoff of the Terminator. Which was all the ra rage in the early 90s. In fact, when this game was being developed, I'm pretty sure the Terminator was... The Terminator 2 was the number one movie. So that's kind of cool, but there he goes. That's it. Not too difficult at all. That is the game, and now let's see what ending we get. I know it's kind of crazy, right? That uh, you'd expect more, but it's not a hard game. Again, it's a nice, easy game. It's a fun experience, and it's one to really just jump into and have fun. Right. We lost the treasure, but we've learned a lesson that family is way more important. Well, God bless you, Uncle Scrooge. And I agree. Your treasure is safe. What? Somehow, Launchpad McQuack has saved the treasure. All right. But what on earth was the secret secret treasure of McDuck? See, we didn't get all the treasure pieces, so we're going to have to get the better ending next time. But that's fine. It gives us a chance to come back and play it again, and that's something I really like to do, because this was fun. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for being here today. Uh, let's see, is that it? Is there another screen, or no? I'm pushing the button, but nothing's happening. Well, anyways, I am the Silver Grunion. Thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on social media, but not too closely. And we'll see you next time for more fun video games and maybe some more DuckTales 2.
Oh, there you go. The final screen. Total money. And I'm out of here. Have a great night, guys. God bless. And we'll see you next time.